Paula Dean has been uh, diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. Um, and it turns out that she was diagnosed three years ago, but she kind of kept it on the down low, probably because her entire career is based on promoting horrible unhealthy food, right? Well, I couldn't tell when she, when she was next to that mountain of butter. <laughs> Gee, I wonder how she got diabetes. <laughs> right, and, and you know, she is like one of those people who's, who says that she eats very, very poorly, and I believe it now. Um, and she's very proud of it, and everyone else should do it, and it's not that big of a deal. Like, people who are dieting all the time and eating healthy are wrong. When you get diabetes, that's when it's a big deal. I mean, that's such a crazy way of saying it. Look, I eat terribly too, right? But I get the downside of it. You, you'd have to be kind of dense not to understand the, the, the downside, at least the possibilities. Right, absolutely. So, uh, for three years, she didn't say anything to anyone about her diagnosis. However, recently she came out and said, yeah, I have type 2 diabetes after she struck a deal with a pharmaceutical company to start promoting uh, diabetes medication. I guess maybe you give her credit for being a constant salesperson, like selling the food, no selling the food, uh, then uh, diabetes comes along, she's like, how do I make money off this? Okay, let's keep it hidden uh, as I continue to make money off of getting other people diabetes. Look, I'm being too harsh. I, if there's a, a cook, chef, whatever, that promotes fatty food, like because they love eating it, I get it, I mean, it's food, right? I don't have a problem with that. But for her to only come out after she strikes a deal with a pharmaceutical company, man, that's, that's fascinatingly callous about your own life. As a person who's watched by, I would assume, at least a million people, she, she's very famous, right, in the cooking world. She's so irresponsible with what kind of message she's sending. Because I get it, like everything in moderation. I love to eat chocolate, I love to eat bad foods all the time too, but I know everything in moderation. If she would say everything in moderation, hey guys, this is really bad for you, but it's okay, you know, we're having fun, this is for special occasions, that's fine. But her signature dish is a hamburger placed between two donuts. So Anthony Bourdain has spoken out against Paula Deen before, uh, but after he heard about this story, he decided to speak out against her again, and I love it. So let me read what he had to say. First, he decided to tweet, and the tweet said, thinking of getting into the leg-breaking business so I can profitably sell crutches later. Oh. Mm, that's a little that, diggy dig. Yeah, oof, that hurts. I love that. Uh, then he uh, had an interview and during the interview he said when your signature dish is hamburger in between a donut and you've been cheerfully selling this stuff knowing all along that you've got type 2 diabetes it's in bad taste if nothing else how long has she known i suspect a very long time as i mentioned she knew for three years and then finally his um, oldest quote which kind of got him into trouble with her was uh, she revels in unholy connections with evil corporations, and she's proud of the fact that her food is fucking bad for you. If I were on that seven at night and loved by millions of people at every age, I would think twice before telling an already obese nation that it's okay to eat food that is killing us, plus her food sucks. Oh, wow, man, he does not like it. That's a lot of drums in the cooking world. No wonder these iron chefs are always chopping at each other. Uh, look, I think he's over the top. No. I know you love him, but, um... <laughs> <laughs> I, wanted, I wanted to come on this show so bad. I okay, love it. All right. Bourdain. Didn't we already have him on? Who was the chef we no, had? No, no, no. That was Andrew Zimmern, who's also awesome. But okay, all right. Anthony Bourdain is top notch. Okay, all right, all right. <laughs> a lot of love over here. Anyway, okay, I get it. She does fatty food. She does it for corporate America. Uh, the pharmaceutical thing, uh, I think, was over the top. Other than that, I, I think, hey, you know what? Even if you hate her, then you would say she got her just desserts.